Hello. It's me again. So, again, as I addressed in my last video, I am in Texas. I basically live in Dallas, Texas, and I actually live in Grand Prairie. If you guys have heard about it on the news or anything like that, Grand Prairie had its first, um, I think, the locally transmitted case of coronavirus or whatever, the man that had that. And so we, uh, it's like, I don't know. <sighs> So I live here, so and I've been going everywhere, and I've been doing whatever I need to do. Uh, I've actually, actually, I've kind of self-quarantined myself for like the past week already. I've been here at my house just cleaning, disinfecting, doing all that stuff. I mentioned that in the last video, but I wanted to go ahead and address the things that everybody's kind of freaking out about. So um, we're you're freaking out. We're all freaking out. Like everybody seems to be freaking out. There's like nothing on the shelves in the stores. Like all these things are missing. People are like forgetting about their fellow man, which isn't cool. And they are just all about themselves, which, yes, you should love yourself, but not to the point to where you're hurting other people. So you just, it's just not cool. <laughs> And, like, I was going out, like, even um, last time I went out to the store and stuff to go get stuff, there was, like, all the basic things, like, like over here anyway. I don't know how it is anywhere else, but over here, there was, like, no beans, no rice, no um, bread, <laughs> no water, no uh, potatoes, you know, things like that, all the basic stuff. And I'm kind of, like, Oh my goodness, you know, and like I mentioned in the last video, I'm one of the poorer people. So like, I don't have the ability, I didn't have the ability to go and just stock up on everything, you know, um, by the time I got to the store, all this stuff was already gone. And I was like, wow, like I don't, I didn't understand, you know? And so now, um, my anxiety is doing a lot better and I'm, I'm being positive. I've been, we don't, there's not even any emergency. I'm used to taking emergency packets and the little packets that you put in water or whatever. And so like there was none of that, but I was able to get my hands on four boxes. So I like grab those of course, and I have them here with me and I take them on a daily and give my kids them on a daily, you know, but I know this is a scary time. And especially us who have anxiety and everything, like we, like all these stories we're hearing, there's so many stories going around on the internet, on, I mean, on social media, on the internet, uh, different articles being written about it. You watch all these videos talking about different things, um, even on TV, the news. And then like, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going on right now. There's so many things being passed around, so many stories and like, you know, and I'm just, just stay good be happy. Don't focus on that negative stuff, like, at all. Like, there's, like, I, I, I don't want to be, like, I don't want to be one of those people, but, like, okay, so there's, I understand the severity of the coronavirus, and I totally understand that it's really bad, it's super contagious, that all these things can happen, and how quickly it just has been, like, it spreads, and, like, all these things. I, I understand the severity of it, but at the same time, you have to be logical about some things like for instance the the flu kills so tens of thousands of people every year and nobody is doing this about over the flu no nobody's at reacting this way every year dealing with the flu and so you got to think about okay okay you know and and that's still out there i think there's like two strains right now this year that are out there like, people are catching the flu still, but nobody's freaking out about that, which, I, like I said, I completely understand the severity of the coronavirus. I understand it's a different kind of thing, and I understand that it, it affects everybody differently, and I understand that it's, like, a really horrible thing to have, and um, I understand all that, totally. I, I Like I said before, I you're preaching to the choir. Like, I have been disinfecting and staying home and not allowing my kids to go anywhere and, like... All of that, you know, I have been that person, so I completely understand. But I also want you to keep in mind the logical parts of everything. Don't freak out. Just don't do it. There's no reason for it. Don't just don't do it. It whatever happens happens, you know. And everything's gonna be okay. 
everything's going to be fine. I'm going to be posting videos also. I know the quarantine thing might be a little hard for some people. And some of you might not be because some of you are agoraphobic already. So you're like, I'm doing this already, you know. So those of you who are doing that are probably feel really lucky. <laughs> which, I mean, awesome. But, um, but yeah, there's, there's so many stories going around. I've heard stories from... Um, that they're about to dispatch the military and everything out on everybody and that they're going to shut down the entire United States completely and that we are going to be under complete lockdown for 15 days, you know, and uh, that all the businesses are going to be closed, you know, all these things are going to happen. And we've, I've also heard stories of like um, that coronavirus is in the water. I've heard stories of there, there's so many stories out there and you can't uh, – my cat scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Luna. <laughs> she, whew. Okay, but um, but there's all these stories and uh, circulating out there. And what I've been doing personally is my feed, like especially like on Facebook, for instance, I've been making sure that my feed is nothing but happy stuff. And I'm trying to be more positive about everything and trying to make sure that all I see on my feed is positive stuff. Um, whenever I have friends on there who are asking, hey, I want to see – positive things can you leave things in my comments like I'm I'm uh, I'm participating in those kind of things like I'm posting uh, cute stuff or whatever on their posts you know as comments and things like that I'm trying to I'm trying to make light of some things I'm trying to be more like laughing about certain situations that are actually laughable you know I'm trying to be more like that those kind of doing those kind of things um because it's just better to be that way it just is um, um, like some of the people that are in Italy right now that are doing the most amazing things to help each other cope with everything. There's there, it's all over the world. Actually, there's people, so many people are doing great things. So just stay positive and remember that you are not alone and that the entire world right now is kind of in turmoil and kind of like needing that humanity and needing that love and needing that understanding and we need to be calm and we need to understand that there's people out there that really really need a lot more than what we do so we need to be understanding and loving toward that but I just wanted to say a few things uh if y'all have any questions, y'all want me to address certain things, please leave it in the comments or give me a message. Some of you know how to get a hold of me through Messenger or uh, email or whatever. And so just get a hold of me. However, I will be, I have time right now before I haven't, I haven't had time to contact anyone or to be in contact with anybody. I've had a lot of stuff going on. But I have a lot of time now, so you guys just contact me, message me through email, through whatever, message me on here, uh, leave comments, and I will try to respond as quickly as I can, and I will try to make videos. I will be making, I'll be very attentive for the next few weeks, seriously, dealing with this. So you guys just come out and um, ask me whatever you want to ask, or ask, give me ideas for what you want me to talk about, things that you want me to address, and I will. So... I'll talk to you guys later. Remember, you're not alone.